All right, I'm making this brief video just to show you some of the modifications I've made on the Seek Outside Aeolus. Uh, the first thing I did was make these guy lines a little bit longer. The ones that came with it were just a little bit short for my uses where I find myself sometimes in sand or slick rock and I need longer ones to accommodate rocks or dead manning or something like that. Then I also I cut the D-ring off of the peak because it didn't seem super necessary to me. And then I added this Z-Pax 1.3 millimeter Z-line, which I think is a pretty good guy line for that use there. And then the biggest thing I did was I found a new way to attach the inner to the tarp. And let me show you how I did that. Okay, so the inner was designed so that the guy line, as you can see, I have the inner sort of pulled out here further than it normally would be. Of course, it's pulling to the point where it's outside of the tarp and it wouldn't be doing that, but it's designed so that the guy line on the inner goes to the same stake as the tarp. And I found this to be pretty problematic, especially when you have to pitch uh, the corners at different lengths and stuff like that. And so I figured it'd probably be a better idea to just have the inner attached to the tarp itself instead of the stake. So here's what I did. What I did was I attached this little piece of shot cord with a mitten hook to the grow grain that's on the corners. Then the guy line that's attached to the inner just attaches to the mitten hook. And let me show you what that looks like on the inside. All right, here's what that looks like on the inside. You've got the adjustable guy line attaching to the mitten hook, and you have some flexibility with the shock cord. And there's a lot of advantages to going this way. You can pitch the tarp at different heights and accommodate for those heights by adjusting this. Pitch it higher, maybe you need to loosen this, for example. So also, it makes it easier to set up the whole thing because if you attach the inner first, which you may sometimes do, but not always, but if you attach it first, then you have basically the shape of the tarp established. You've created a rectangular footprint, which makes pitching up to probably five minutes faster in my experience. So there you have it. If you want to make pitching a little bit faster, make your Eolus a little bit more adjustable and flexible and adaptable, I think it's a pretty good idea.